Hey guys, welcome back to my Minecraft Create Mod series, and we're going to be looking at some interesting stuff today. So we're going to look at changing rotation and changing speed. Now, these are really important, and there are a few different ways you can do it. So let's get straight into that and looking at the Minecraft Create Mod again. So there'll be times when you want to change the rotation of your shafts. Now, there are a few different ways you can do that, and I think I've mentioned one already. So the first one is by using two cogs. Now you notice that this shaft is moving the opposite way to this one. So that is one way you can do it, but that means that your shaft itself is moving over one block. And you might not always want that. So we have a few other options. What we can do is use a gearbox, and that will change the direction the shaft is rotating. So if you look on the left, it's going... Uh, which way is that clockwise and if you look on the right it's actually going anti-clockwise so it's going the opposite direction now that is another way we can change the direction and it keeps it in line which is the important thing so it's very easy to change the rotation without having to change the sort of space that you're going in or direction you're going in there is another one which we're not going to use in this project that we're working towards but I wanted to show you anyway. So this is a gear shift, and you'll notice that actually they're going the same direction at the moment on the input and the output. But if we put a lever on the side and activate it, it will go the other way. So this means that this gear shift you can use to actually change the direction when you want. So sometimes it can be going one way, and sometimes it can be going the other way. This can be really handy, but we're not gonna need it for this project, but I wanted to show you it anyway. Okay, and the last thing that I wanted to show you in today's video was to change the speed. So for this, we're going to use the rotation speed controller, and it's a really cool little device. Now, what it has here is a an input and then an output in the form of a cog. So it's turning this cog at the top. What we can do is if we right click on the number 16 here, we can then change the speed so if we change it up to 256, it will go like the clappers. <laughs> Most of the time, we're probably not going to need that kind of speed, but you can definitely increase it to something manageable. So we've taken it from 16 up to 64, which is quite good as well. You can, of course, go the other way down to one, and then it's incredibly slow. I don't know where you would need that, but you might need it at some point. I like 64. I find that's a good speed. But yeah, that's how you can change the speed of your input. And then obviously you can take an output from your uh, from your cog there. So we've now changed the rotation and the speed. And if we wanted to change the rotation of this, so say you build something and this rod here is the wrong one. It's going the wrong way. You can change the whole thing just by putting in a gearbox here and then it will go the other way. So the whole thing, it functions in the same way. So if you change the direction here, it will change the direction here. That means that if you have outputs on, say, here, you want it to carry on, because this will still be at the 16 times that it went in at, then this one would change as well as that one. If you wanted to just change the output of this one, you would need to put your gearbox on here. And then this one would change, but this one would remain the same. Okay, so your placement of where you put your gearbox to change the rotation is really important because it will change it for everything if you put it right on the input here. I think that's the key one. And that is it for today. That was real simple, I think. Changing our rotation and changing our speed. That is going to be really important for the end project of this series. So make sure you learn how to do that. Have a go at home. And if you're enjoying this Minecraft Create Mod series, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out and it will help other people out because when they see that you're subscribed, they will also subscribe. So it will be really handy for everyone wanting to learn about the Create Mod. And I will see you next time where we will be doing something which will be a bit more interesting and probably a bit longer episode because it will be a bit more in depth. And I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.